This is an ABC 10 News update. And hello, I'm Adam Rakusin with this ABC 10 News update. People all around the county are worried about flooding as we feel the effects of Tropical Storm K. City crews are in overdrive prepping for the storm. This includes clearing drains, sweeping streets and getting bypass pumps ready. The city is also encouraging people to take a look at their own properties to prevent flooding. They're suggesting if you see anything like street flooding or downed trees, report it with the city's Get It Done app. Just to our north, the Fairview fire has burned more than 27,000 acres near Hemet. So far, two people were killed in the fire. This morning, people living nearby under are under evacuation orders. Southern California Edison says there was circuit activity close to where the fire started. The company will not say if its equipment caused the fire. That fire is just 5% contained. Cal Fire crews are on high alert today. The hot and dry conditions mixed with high winds could lead to a dangerous situation if a fire breaks out. A high wind watch currently is in effect for San Diego County. Cal Fire is suggesting to make sure your vehicles are well maintained, keep vehicles off of dry grass, and avoid using any equipment that can create sparks. And here's Vanessa Paz with a look at traffic and weather. Hi, Adam, and happy Friday, everyone. We have heavy rain saturating the entire county. It's pretty heavy, though, in the southeastern pocket of Mount Laguna. That's where we've seen the heaviest amount of rain. And on top of that, we're also dealing with high winds, sustained winds anywhere from 20 to 40 miles per hour, gusting up to 60, 70 miles per hour at a time. And in fact, we had Cuyamaca Peak record a gust of 110 earlier this morning. On top of that, we're still dealing with a heat countywide. We're in the 90s along along the beaches and inland valleys. 70s is what we'll top out at in the mountains, low 90s in the desert areas. The biggest threats that we're looking towards are damaging winds, heavy rain, and we still have beach hazards in effect.